Hello and welcome to the Cornwall Reports news briefing for Wednesday the 3rd of January. The local media headlines today. What are we going to do about Newquay Airport? Cornwall Council wants to sell it, or at least part of it, but a two-year privatisation project is now in danger of running out of time. We're approaching a crunch decision in a couple of months, but the reality is that unless a deal is completely done and dusted before the next set of council elections, it probably won't get done at all. Officials admit they're contemplating a future in which the airport remains in public ownership. It's a fact of life that politically contentious projects are at the mercy of political events. The Mid-Cornwall Metro Railway is at an important level crossing right now, but the signals could very easily change in May. There's more disruption to cargo ferry services to the Isles of Scilly, caused by bad weather, and there's more bad news if you're planning to go down to the beach today. Sadly, now all very predictable. The BBC was among the media to report the discovery of a woman's body on the beach at Falmouth. The woman was found at Gillingvays Beach on Monday. She's thought to have been aged between 50 and 70, but police have been struggling to identify her. The Falmouth Packet reported that fatal accident at the weekend in St Ives. The Cornish Times had a great story about Harry Potter and the Christmas stocking of good cheer in Bodmin. A story so good you really should read it. And finally, Cornwall Live had lots to say about Storm Henk. And those are the local media headlines for now. Thank you very much for watching. Please share this video on social media. I'll be back again tomorrow. See you then. Bye-bye.